That's no moon. Earth's got a new solar travel buddy to rock out with. And no, it's not a second moon. Dubbed Earth's new constant companion by NASA last summer, 2016 HO3 is a small asteroid orbiting the Sun on a trajectory that overlaps with Earth. The space agency speculates that it's between 120 and 300 feet across in size. Some thought it was actually space junk, debris from old rockets and satellites, but new research has confirmed that it is indeed an asteroid. It is a quasi-satellite to Earth that orbits closer to the Sun than Earth does over six months, while the rest of the time it falls farther behind. This is different to natural satellites such as the Moon, where orbits are tied only to a planet or a star. Most of us will never make it to space, but some asteroids want to visit Earth. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end, and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis, or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and then use the planet's orbit to get an 8,500 mile per hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500 meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes. Prepare to get your mind blown. There's a bizarre new plan for what could be the world's tallest building, and it's literally out of this world. Instead of being built from the ground up, this futuristic skyscraper will be hanging down from the heavens. Analemma Tower is the brainchild of a New York City design firm. It consists of a tall tower suspended via cables from an asteroid that's been repositioned to orbit the Earth. The wandering skyscraper would be in a geosynchronous orbit, tracing a figure eight path on its daily loop across the northern and southern hemispheres. The proposal calls for the tower to be constructed in Dubai, where costs are lower. Once completed, the massive structure will then be taken to New York via orbital transfer. With the upper part of Analemma constantly exposed to sunlight, power can be harnessed by space-based solar panels, while water can be filtered and recycled. Residential units will be placed two-thirds of the way up, with lower floors reserved for business and entertainment use. The plans don't specify how to get on and off the property, but illustrations suggest people would do so via parachutes. With such an outrageous proposal, there's no telling when or if the hanging tower will ever make it to the real world. Still, you never know. Large asteroid Florence to pass by Earth on September 1st. For those of you who enjoy looking up at the sky above, you may see something out of the ordinary passing overhead in just a few days. An asteroid, roughly three miles wide, will drift past our planet a few moon lengths away, and it's going to be closer to us than we're used to seeing. Asteroid Florence, named after the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale, is believed to be at least 2.7 miles in diameter. Hurtling through space 4.4 million miles away, more than 18 Earth-Moon distances, Florence is the largest asteroid to pass this close since the first near-Earth asteroid was detected over a century ago. 
The last time this particular asteroid was this close was back in 1890, and following September 1st, it won't be this close again until after the year 2500. As it glides by, Florence will move through the constellations Pisces Austrinus, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Delphinus, visible even by small telescopes. Florence's trip past the Earth offers scientists a chance to study it up close. This asteroid is less than half the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs and poses no apparent threat to life on Earth.